I think most of us have been enjoying the warmer temperatures, but with that comes the bees, mosquitoes, and <laughs> other unwanted critters. Yeah, and this time of year, it's not uncommon for some animals to seek shelter inside your home, even though it is warm outdoors. Alex George joins us now this morning to explain who might be hiding away in your house. Hi, Alex. Hey, good morning, Dan and Lauren. The warmer weather means it's the time of year for wildlife such as squirrels and raccoons to give birth. And your home may be the place that they seek shelter to do so. Finding a raccoon in your house can be a big problem. So what do you do and who do you call? Well, really, it's up to the homeowner to take care of it. Nuisance or sick raccoons may be trapped without a permit, but in order to prevent the possible spread of raccoon diseases in Ohio, all live trap raccoons must be released again on the homeowner's property or humanely euthanized. If you're not comfortable putting the animal down, ODNR suggests calling a licensed wild animal control operator. If you find your unwanted guest does happen to be a mother raccoon with young, ODNR says the best thing to do is wait a few weeks until the babies grow old enough to leave with their mother. They won't survive without her. Now they just really want to remind homeowners that it is illegal to trap their raccoon and then let it go on someone else's property. Raccoons are considered a nuisance animal. If it's a problem for you know the person where the situation is occurring, then it's probably going to be a problem for somebody else. She says raccoons typically have very good homing instincts, so even if you do relocate them, chances are they will find their way back to your house. Now, what do you do if you think there is a sick raccoon or another sick animal on your property? Well, coming up in the 6 o'clock hour, I'll have more information from ODNR. Reporting live in the studio, Alex George, First News This Morning.